Hi and welcome to part 4 of the basic game maker tutorial series uh, tank game. So we are going to create the wall for our level. So some collision detection going on here. So where to get started? We are going to create a new sprite. So using the little Pac-Man new sprite icon at the top. Click and you're given the properties of window. Sticking with our naming convention. It's a sprite, so SPR underscore, and we're going to call it obstacle. O B S T A L E. And we're going to click edit sprites, file new, 32 by 32 is fine. Okay. And what we want to do is we're going to double click to open up the image editing window. Um, I'm going to create a grey wall, so I'm just going to pick a nice dark colour grey, click the fill tool and fill in the object. I might do it a little bit lighter just because it clashes with that background, it's a little hard to see, that's better. And click the tick, and tick again, okay. and to save the sprite just click OK at the bottom. We now need to create an obstacle. Uh, so the skeleton part to attach our skin, which will be the uh, SPR obstacle sprite that we've just created. So come up to the top and click the object icon. So naming convention again, as normal, obj underscore obstacle. And we're going to assign the sprite obstacle. Um, we need to tick the solid button, and this basically tells it that the obstacle is solid, things can't or shouldn't pass through it. Click OK and check. Yep, yeah, under our obstacles, we've got OBJ obstacle. We are now going to program our obstacle player. Uh, so that whenever it hits the the obstacle, um, it will it will do something. So we're going to add the collision event. So what we want to do is we want to click down on add event, and we want to add a collision event, and we want to set it to when it collides with OBJ obstacle, we want it to do something. So we just click on the move tab and we select and drag start moving in direction and it's going to apply to self because we are programming the player and we're going to tick the middle button and set the speed to zero and to click OK and what that does is it stops the player object um, simply by setting the speed to zero and it stops instantly. So we can then click OK. And what we need to do now is we need to actually add um, the OBJ obstacle into our level. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the level one room just by double clicking on it. Um, we can then uh, map out uh, our obstacles and we're going to create sort of a maze like a little labyrinth and to do that all we do is come down and we're going to click here under objects set it to obj obstacle and now when we left click it will place one of the obstacles uh, in the room so we're going to want to make sure that we place um, an obstacle all the way around the edge and then design our maze. So what I'm going to do is well I actually do this um, I'm going to pause the game, pause the tutorial sorry and just map out a section. Okay so I've mapped out um, a little maze uh, and I can just click the, the save icon to save the room and it's testing time so let's hit the test button Okay, so we can see that we've got our um, 
player and we've got a little maze and we know the movements work so let's try and hit something so you can see that it can't move through the objects that we've placed in the room so the maze or the walls very important to make sure that the outside walls are all um, uh, sealed unless of course you're making uh, something like Pac-Man where you would have a gap in the wall say there and you would come in from the other side uh, and I can show you how to do that and I will show you how to do that in a later tutorial so let's uh, just uh, game saved so we can close that um, and come back for the next tutorial to uh, see what happens Thank you.